انا بس عاوز اقول يا جماعه الليرنينج مانجمنت سيستم ده اللي هو بنقول عليه بالعربي منصه اداره التعلم اللي هيكون موجود على اجهزه التابلت من ناحيه ومن غير تابلت خالص هو موجود النهارده على بنك المعرفه لاي حد يخش بنك المعرفه مش محتاج تابلت يعني هيخش ويلاقي وزاره التربيه والتعليم يدوس عليها هيخش على ده ده الانفايرومنت اللي قاعد جواه المحتوى اللي طلبت مصر هيذاكروا منه في اولى ثانوي فالليرنينج مانجمنت سيستم ده سوفت وير بنحط جواه الماتيريال بنوزعها بالدروس والايام وحاجات زي كده انما هو اللي هياخد تابلت هيعرف يخش له من التابلت واللي ما عندوش تابلت يعرف يخش له برضو النهارده من انه يخش على بنك المعرفه ويخش على الوزر دلوقتي كلمه مستر دان سيفا مانجنج دايركتور سي دي اس ام اتفضل Assalamu alaikum. Hello ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dan Sivak. I am the managing director of CDSM. Thank you for the introduction. We are responsible for the learning management system. Uh, it's an honor and a privilege both to be here and to be selected by the ministry to provide this technology for your country. My job today is an overview of the role of the technology that we provide and the role that it plays within the project now and the role it plays in His Excellency's vision for the future of education in Egypt. This slide is important because it gives you a context, it gives you an outline. I will put this down for a minute. A context and an outline of where the learning management system sits within the whole ecology of the project, all of the contributing partners and the providers within the project. So the LMS is the property of the ministries. It has been His, Excellence, His Excellency's vision to procure the platform because this is future-proofed and it safeguards the investment for the future. And the role that the platform plays is to incorporate all of the content partners' content, all of the content that has been invested and bought and developed and curated in the Egyptian Knowledge Bank. And it's also responsible for the provisioning and the management of the students and teachers that access the learning management system. So it has a hugely important role to play in not only the teaching and learning that's going to go on in the future, in the schools in Egypt, but in managing and organizing the way that this valuable resource is going to be delivered to students and teachers. Dan, can, can you bring this slide back? And, yes. Malish, uh, allow me. I was a teacher in my life, so I'm going to do a little bit. زي ما كنت بعمل زمان بس عشان اشرح لكم احنا قبل الليرنينج مانجمنت سيستم خالص كان عندنا بنك المعرفه بنك المعرفه كان مكتبه جواها محتوى المحتوى ده جاي من كان قبل ما نعمل موضوع التعليم الاساسي كان في محتوى من بريتانيكا ومن ديسكفري ومن وولفرام لما احتاجنا محتوى اضافي للتعليم الاساسي في المرحله الثانويه جبنا محتوى من خلينا بريتانيكا تزود لنا بقى حاجات باللغه العربيه للمخرجات التعلم بتاعت اولى ثانوي بالتحديد وبعدين جبنا افلام كتيره جدا من ديزاين ميت هتشوفوها من يوريكا وديسكفري عملت حاجات كتير قوي بالعربي ودين ده وولفرام بتاع الماثيماتكس قلنا له يعمل لنا تطبيقات تفاعليه لمناهج الرياضيات بتاعت اولى ثانوي درس درس وبعدين يورك بريس خدنا منهم حاجة اسمها ديجيتال ليرنينج اوبجيكتس او مناهج اللي بتدرس في امريكا من اولى ابتدائي للثانوية العامة باللغة العربية وحطيناها هنا. ايه اللي حصل بقى ليه عاوزين ليرنينج مانجمنت سيستم؟ عشان المحتوى ده انا ممكن اخش عليه في بنك المعرفة بس هاتوه لما ادخل عليه هلاقيه كتير قوي وفي وسط حاجات تانية. احنا خدناه بتاع اولى ثانوي لوحده اللي المجموعة دي نفسها وستفناه بقى في الليرنينج كان محتاجين حته نستف فيها الكلام ده هو ده بقى ال ام اس 
مع ان نفس المحتوى موجود على بنك المعرفه بس كان لازم بنساعد الولاد بدل ما يخش في بحر وما يعرفش يدور جواه لا هنا مش بس خدناه حطيناه هنا كل الشركات دي قعدت مع مركز المناهج اللي قال لهم الدرس الاول بتاع الفيزياء بتاع اولى ثانوي بيتكلم عن كذا والتاني بيتكلم عن كذا فبقينا نلم كل حاجة تنفع الدرس ده من كل المصادر في حتة واحدة قصاد الدرس العملية دي عملية صعبة جدا وفي ناس بتتبادل اخبار مش كلها دقيقة بيقولوا لنا جبتوا الفيديوهات منين الفيديوهات اهي من ديزاين ميت اللي هم موجودين برة تقدروا حضراتكم تفرجوا عليها وبيقولوا انها ما تراجعتش الدكتورة نوال قاعدة في مركز تطوير المناهج بتراجع ستة لاف فيلم 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 كلمة كلمة وبنترجمه من الانجليزي للعربي والافلام دي باللغه الناطقه بالعربيه والانجليزيه بره هنا في الصاله عشان تعرفوا مين عمل ايه يعني فده المصدر وده الترجمه والمراجعه والنتيجه تستفت هنا تحت الال ام اس اللي دان بيتكلم عليه عشان تعرفوا علاقه بنك المعرفه بالال ام اس بالمحتوى يعني عمليه كبيره جدا بتحصل في الخلفيه اللي لا تشوفوا نتيجتها دلوقتي So, why CDSM? CDSM is a teaching and learning company. We are passionate about teaching and learning. This platform has been designed to be a supporting aid to teaching. It's not to replace teaching, it's to provide the teacher with greater strength, greater option, in order to ensure that students get the very best education that they can get. And I have to say, the year and a bit that I've worked and known His Excellency, and our colleagues in the ministry, this is what the vision is about. It's about raising standards and making a difference. And we are proud to be part of that journey. At the moment, we're working with all grade 10 students in science and mathematics. And we are running a beta project to ensure that we learn the lessons we need from the schools in Egypt to make the adaptations and to make sure that the platform is delivering the content from the content partners and the teaching and learning experience that our teachers and our students need. It's scalable and powerful. We have very many experiences of delivering to many of hundreds of thousands of users, and we have lots of control over its ability to meet the demand that's inevitably going to come from Egypt. It's cross-platform. It's been uh, really interesting testing with schools and students in Egypt. Uh, we have worked in many markets, but it is clear that mobile access onto this technology is really important for this country. And that means that we have to adapt the, pl the platform technology to meet the needs of a small screen and a large screen. And so it is scalable and it works across all platforms. It is bilingual. Its first langu language, unlike mine, is Egyptian Arabic and English. It is home now to thousands of interactive digital learning resources, and this will grow. And I will show you in a minute a brief overview of how your students and your teachers are going to access this uh, in the beta project over the next eight or nine months. And just a point about the future, because it is an investment, and we respect that investment, the technology has been delivered in such a way that it is contemporary, it is as I have said, powerful, and it is designed in a way to become more sophisticated as the user requirements and the demands of the population, the learning population, uh, increase, and you want more from it. And we're very confident about this. Importantly, and I think this is the final point for this slide, the question around data is all important. And this project is about making sure that your citizens' data and the data of your country is safe. And so we are in another thread of this project is about moving the technology into the national data centers and the Egyptian cloud so your data is sovereign and there is no risk to it at all at any point. If we can move on. So very briefly for this beta project, I just want to give you a brief overview of our thinking and why then, we've done what we've one done. Second. This is the one that you'll see, guys, the students in the first year on the tablet when they go to 
في بنك المعرفة هيخش على الليرنينج مانجمنت سيستم ده هي ال ال اللي هو بيوريه لكم ده أول فيرجن من الليرنينج مانجمنت سيستم في المواد الدراسية يبقى في دليل دراسي للبيولوجي للماثيماتكس للكده وبيقلب عربي وإنجليزي وهيعديكوا في نقدر نبعت رسائل للطلبة من الوزارة هيشوف الدليل الدراسي الخاص بيه يبقى عارفين ان هو في الاسبوع ده بيدرس الدرس الفلاني في المادة الفلانية في مكتبة رقمية يقدر يخش فيها ما يبصش درس درس يبص عليها على بعض او يخش على الدليل الدراسي ويشوفها درس درس فاللي حضراتكم شايفينه هو حصيلة شغل الاف البشر من كل الشركات دي ومن الوزارة في انهم يفصصوا ده ونجمعه ونحطه قصاد المناهج كل ده الاولى ثانوي بس لسه هنعمله الثانيه والثالثه فهو استثمار كبير قوي الولاد عندهم كتاب المدرسه في ايدهم النهارده ورقيا هيبقى موجود نفس كتاب المدرسه هنا بي دي اف دي مش حاجه بيج ديل يعني الاهم بقى هو المحتوى الاضافي اللي هتشوفوه دلوقتي اللي دان هيوريه لكم بس هو ده اللي هيشوفوه على التابلت بعد ايام So, so again, the, the features are designed. This is a representative feature of something where we have learned and worked with the ministry. And I think we talked about simple to use technology that has the ability to become sophisticated in line with the user's need. So it can meet the needs of the teachers and the learners as they grow with the technology. And here you can see that with our colleagues from the ministry, we have taken a view that as this is new, and new to, new to users, learners and teachers. We wanted to be responsible for delivering the lessons as and when they're needed. So from the screen you saw before, you would select the lesson that was specifically for you on that morning, on that afternoon of that day, and it would take you directly in to those, those resource slides. Forgive me for a second. So from this screen, and then onto the next screen, you make a selection of your particular lesson. So this is the workspace, a personal workspace, and you go from that screen into the very specific resources that support that lesson. And there are an array of resources from the publishers, as we discussed, that are specifically tailored to the lesson that you have for that for that class for that moment in the day uh, then uh, just to explain بصوا حضراتكم اللي هو فاتحه ده يعني مثال بسيط هو في درس ثلاثة uh, اللي هو بيبحث جذور المعادلات التربيعيه يعني في الرياضيات عنده تحت الدرس ثلاثة حاجتين كتاب الطالب ومحتوى اضافي كتاب الطالب ده الكتاب بتاع الحكومه اللي هو في ايده دلوقتي على ورق هيبقى مش محتاج يشيله يعني هيبقى معاه المحتوى الاضافي هو اللي احنا بقى تعبانين فيه هو بقى الاضافي الاضافي ده اشكال والوان وكل حاجه منه جايه من مصدر غير التاني يعني كل الشركاء اللي معانا دول كلهم بيصب هنا اي حاجه ليها علاقه بالموضوع بتصب هنا فاحنا مركز المناهج بالتعاون معاهم مع كل واحد فيهم بقى قعد يفصص اللي هم ادوهولنا على الدروس بنعمل لهم مابينج يعني فده بقى جهد كبير وطبعا بما ان ده سوفت وير فاحنا طول الوقت نقدر نزود الاستثمار ده بمحتوى اضافي ده مش نهايه العالم دي اول اول طلعه يعني فلو في مشكله نقدر نغيرها نقدر نحسنها بس عاوزكم تتخيلوا الفوليوم او الحجم بتاع ده هو بيوريكم حته كده في الرياضيات نتخيل كده الرياضيات مع العلوم مع الكيمياء مع بتاع شغلانه كبيره جدا ف بليز دام So another feature is the digital library. And the digital library, once we've, once we've delivered the very specific resource, the other opportunity is to work with a digital library that contains all of the resources within the platform. So that is delivered through a, a search and retrieval function, uh, like Google, like any search engine that you are used to using. And it, it will be able to provide to teachers and students all of the resources that have been labeled carefully and correctly for the student to find or the teacher to find the resources that they will want to deliver the lesson as part of the curriculum for the year. So this provides more freedom in terms of accessing any kind of resource. And what we find over time 
when we move from a, more, from a simple model to a more sophisticated model, quite rightly, is, is your students and your teachers will want to know more and they will not need so much support. They will want to inquire and explore and find things for themselves. So the digital library is all about that and it provides access to all of the wonderful resources from the Egyptian Knowledge Bank. And if you want to see it on the right side, there is Arabic and English. It is possible that anyone can see it in any point on the word English, all of it is in English. داس في أي نقطة برضو في موفي في درس على العربي هيطلع له نفس الحاجة بالعربي طبعا ده جهد مزدوج وتكلفة مزدوجة إن ترجمناه من هنا لهنا فكل اللي حضراتكم شايفينه موجود باللغتين السيستم كله فاللي في مدارس لغات أو في مدارس تجريبية أو كده وبيدرس علوم الرياضات بالإنجليزي هيبقى سهل عليه يشوفها بالإنجليزي أو بالعربي طبعا لو حد عاوز يترجم لنا إنتو فرنش هنرحب بيه جدا وده كله ممكن نعمله واحنا ماشيين سو so, حاليا كل الاستثمار معمول باللغتين دول okay. I think if we can click on the, 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 the point of the, the platform and the, the, the point of why we are working with the ministry is about edu 2.0 the vision and about growing and working with the ministry to adapt the platform to the teaching and learning needs that we discover, that we understand and we find by working closely with our colleagues here. So what, we, what we're denoted for, what we're understood for in our markets is the ability to meet the needs of a diverse requirement. Many different learners, many different learning styles. We do not learn all in the same way. We have different needs, different abilities. And it's our, it's, our, it's our mission to develop a, a, a learning platform that can provide that kind of delivery to those many needs, to many students, uh, right across the country. So, as we move on in the project, we, it's better to talk about values and the things that we understand in education are important to provide a great teaching and learning experience, great practice. So content we have seen and content is what we're working on this year in order to tailor the experiences and the needs of the curriculum to the student and the teacher. But other things like collaboration, skills, new skills that are important certainly to the minister and the ministry, uh, the new skills that we talk about with the new emerging curriculum, enabling people to research, to make decisions for themselves, to evaluate, all of those key higher skills that are required for our students and our teachers, we believe the LMS is perfectly acquitted to deliver. So these key features you will have understood and you would have heard about and talked about, assessment for learning, communication, all of these things are digitally possible. And that's critical here and that's what we're here to deliver for you. Just a note about the size and the scale of the project. This I think is probably the largest implementation of a learning management system anywhere in the world in terms of a, a, a national implementation. And it's designed and the ambition is for the whole of the territory of Egypt, uh, then, right across uh, the states and the governorates. You are touching on an important point, so I'll just try to explain. Egmal, the system that we have been able to do this, we have been able to do this in the first time. The idea of collaboration, which we have been able to do, we have been able to do this in the first time, and we have been able to do this in the first time, and we have been able to do this in the first time. بس احنا في الاول على بال ما يتعودوا عليه وعشان نتفادى سوء الاستخدام قافلين دي في الاول بس نقدر نفتحها في اي وقت دي حاجه الحاجه الثانيه اللي هو كاتب هنا ده ممكن يستخدم ممكن يبقى في عالم زي ده متفصل فصل فصل او اداره كل كل اداره تعليميه ممكن الادارات تبدع والمحافظات تختلف عن بعض في تصميم الجهاز بس احنا مش مدين لهم ده في الاول عاملين نظام واحد للكل بس اول ما ادنا تاخد عليه هندي الحرية لكل محافظة ولكل ادارة وبعدين لكل مدرس انه يخلق الفصل بتاعه 
والطلبه بتوعه يكلموا بعض وممكن يعملوا مشاريع مع بعض ويتبادلوا المعلومات فهو في المستقبل هتشوفوا امكانيات عماله تتفتح فيه اكتر من اول ما هيطلع اول ما هيطلع بس عاوزين ناخد عليه ونتعود على الطريقه دي في التعلم وبعدين كل ده هيزيد المحتوى والامكانيات بتاعته I'd just like to say thank you very much for your time. Thanks for the opportunity.